So in this video, I want to talk about how we meter in a double acting cylinder on extension only. So let's go ahead and get started. So here I have my pump, my pressure relief valve, and a simple 4-2 directional control valve. When I activate this lever, oil will flow up. You'll notice it can't get through the check valve. So all the oil is forced to go through the needle valve. As oil flows up, it will go through here extending the cylinder, all right, at whatever speed I set it to. Then, when I come back to its original position, oil will flow through here into the cylinder's B port, oil will free flow through here, and all the oil will exit this cylinder out through the bypass check valve. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at how this works and we can watch the oil flow. For a little reference here, I went ahead and placed two flow meters here so we can see the difference in how much flow is actually going to when we extend this and how much flow is being used when we retract it. So let's go ahead and start the simulation. And I'm gonna activate the lever. All the oil is flowing through here, the check valve is closed, and we're getting roughly seven gallons per minute flowing through here and pushing this cylinder out. All of the oil that was on, on the piston rod side of the cylinder exited through here down to tank. Now, when I switch this position, oil will flow to the B port on the cylinder and all the oil here will evacuate back through the check valve. So oil flows back, oil came down through here, unmetered, back down through, through tank. And you saw there is roughly about 30 gallons. So you can see the difference there. So let's activate it a couple more times. Oil flows through the needle valve being metered as it goes into the circuit, extending the cylinder, all right? When I retract it, oil comes through your B port and drops through the check valve, and here we go. Now there's a couple of tricks that I will mention in all my videos about metering hydraulic oil as it goes into a cylinder. One, a couple of things. You'll notice here that the check valve arrow is pointing towards the cylinder. This indicates that yes, this is a meter in circuit, okay? The other thing you have to ask yourself is, well, if this is meter in, what is my A port doing when oil is flowing through here metered? Well, it is an input, okay? Because when it's extending, the oil is coming into here, all right? Now, when it's retracting, the oil is coming out the A port, okay? So that's really important. You always have to ask yourself, what is my port? when it is extending and when it is retracting, when you're trying to diagnose how a meter circuit works when it comes to hydraulics, because this is confusing. So a couple things to look for. One, am I extending the cylinder when it's going slow or retracting the cylinder when it's going slow, or is it being metered and re restricted in both directions? In this case, it's only being restricted in one direction, that's on the extension. My flow control valve is attached to the A port when it's extending, so that's an input. So all the oil going into the meter, sorry, all of the oil going into the cylinder is being metered, but only on extension. This is how a meter in circuit operates. Okay, now I have a number of other videos out there. I have a full length lecture and I show you on the equipment how all the different meter in and meter out circuit works in hydraulics. I will link that in the bottom and I will also link uh, all the other videos just showing you individual examples of different hydraulic metering. Okay, so anyway, I hope you liked the video and if you did, please uh, hit the like button and the subscribe. As always, thank you so much for watching.